it going, Cancer? It's May 2019 general love reading. How's everything going there? Huh? Okay, Gemini seems to be a reading just basically about love. I wasn't pulling anything in in regards to business, although I'm sure business work, whatever, you know, had something to do with it. Just in case any of you have a moon or a rising in Gemini. Um, I know I haven't been reminding everybody in the videos. Please like, share, and comment. I really appreciate it. Uh, not only that, but it it lets me know if you want me to continue uh, doing these monthly videos or if I should just, you know, do whatever I want and just <laughs> whoever listens, listens. You know what I'm saying? Um, sorry that I miss, missed March. You know, I, I had the flu and, and my throat was not good. And at the same time, um, uh, last month for the month of April, I decided to put all the videos together via Element air, water, you know, um, earth and fire, which was easier for me to upload. So I'm just going to leave these videos, at, you know, kind of short. Um, and I want to apologize for my schedule. I haven't opened up my schedule yet because I was getting so many requests from clients already, uh, with me that have been journeying with me for the past three years. Um, and so it's pretty loaded there, pretty loaded with uh, energy clearings and healings. So I will be opening up the schedule soon uh, for new clients, but I'm not ignoring you either. All you have to do is contact me via email uh, if you want a reading and we'll just go from there or an instant go. Okay. All right. So um, cancer, I feel like some of you have got this move happening. Um, and let me just go ahead and lay the cards before I talk to them because I like to have a full picture here. Um, when I pull a couple themes, this is reversed here. Some of you, I feel like are, uh, struggling with money, uh, perhaps finding another job, um, and also, uh, I'm also getting struggling with romance. Like it's like you meet someone uh, and then suddenly something shows up in that relationship and you're back to square one. Uh, money is coming to you. For some of you who are, are, are still looking for a job, that's coming through. I do I do feel that's going to happen. I also feel, I kept feeling somebody's moving. So you're probably wondering if money's coming in for that move. It definitely is. Um uh, I do feel like when I see the, the strength card and it's reversed, I'm getting this message from spirit that something's just being released. It's just releasing and letting it go. And I, and I feel when you do that, it's going to bring you a lot of um, happiness, success, and prosperity here. Uh, the King of Wands, I feel like that um, also represents a fire sign. Of course, Leo. Leo's on the table here. Sagittarius. Um, uh, in Aries, and I do feel that uh, there's something here. Um, I don't know why I'm getting something with politics. Okay, I don't know if someone someone's been working in politics here. Uh, that just came in, so I just thought I'd, <laughs> I'd mention it. Probably, maybe it's irrelevant, but I do feel like that right now. Um, maybe somebody's thinking about going into the career of politics or as an attorney or something like that, and. And you're just wondering how that's going to go. And I feel like, you know, everything's going to be fine. You just need to have faith in what you're doing. As some of you definitely here are on the crossroads, okay? I, I feel like some of you have been led in, in a deceptive way. Um, and, and so you were believing and dreaming that this could happen. It could also be with an earth sign. I'm getting an earth sign here. And, um, but you have something to celebrate about. Like I'm getting a lot of cancers here are also traveling through the month of May. And uh, to all of you, women, ladies, happy Mother's Day, by the way, uh, for May. So that's that's the energy that I'm getting here. Now, some of you also, too, I'm getting message that you may relocate to either another state, another city, another job, period. I feel like this this job is going to consist of traveling and uh, you're going to make really good money from this. I do feel like uh, there's a strong celebration. Now, there's somebody young here in this group that's coming in to check about whether or not they should go into the career of modeling. I'm getting modeling here. 
Absolutely. Definitely. I feel like you'll be very successful with it. You'll, you'll definitely travel eventually with it and you'll make really good money. Um, uh, why am I getting purses? Why why are purses coming in here, Spirit? <laughs> purses representing money, okay? Also, too, I'm feeling, here's a couple things that are coming to me, too. Be careful with your belongings. I feel like you need to watch your belongings in May. There could be some uh, uh, theft going on. And this can be secure your house. You know, if you've got an alarm, make sure you turn it on every day. Make sure you lock your doors. Same thing for your automobile. Same thing with carrying your purse. I just felt like I needed to get that out there. And then that, that might not be on the cards. That might not be on the table here. Uh, but it's coming in from spirit. Let's go ahead and take a look at love cards here. Love cards. Okay, we've got unrequited love. Wow, they're just falling out here. Release your ex. And that's what I was feeling right down here with the strength card. That some of you are just finding your freedom, getting away from something. You know, definitely when this card was reversed, I felt like you really needed as much power and as you possibly could. But now with, with it being reversed, I feel like you finally are just getting to letting this go, Cancer. Okay, and it's a great benefit for you to do that. Now, some of you, I feel like, are waiting for your loved one to come back. We've got unrequited love. There wasn't enough divine energy here between the two of you. Now, this could be that, you know, there was a lot going on. And so there wasn't enough chemistry happening there. Or the person was just not feeling brave enough to uh, continue the relationship with you. Because I'm sensing fear. I'm sensing bailing out on something. And then we've got release your ex. Okay, so this is time has come to clear the energy. Whether you decide later on or tomorrow, today or whatever, that you want to get back with your ex, that's okay. But you need to clear the energy of what was. Otherwise, you're walking right back into it. And then waiting, you know, worth waiting for. This, everything has a divine timing. So I feel like I need to give the message to some of you cancers. Stop stressing about who's going to come in your life or who's in your life right now. You know, who's come, you know, who's going, who's going to return in your life. Because I really feel like that's bringing on a lot of unneeded stress. And it's not going to, it's not really going to make your relationship happen any sooner. Okay. Uh, let's see what else, what else, what else, what else. Um... I don't know. I feel like some of you also, too, are attending graduations. I got graduation parties. Uh, maybe even uh, parties related to uh, um, just news of someone going away. Maybe somebody's getting deployed. I just love how the video just decided it wanted to stop. I <laughs> just got everything out there. Anyways, I was talking about maybe, you know, servicemen or women or somebody's coming home. Maybe somebody's been gone away from college, coming home. It's just a lot. It could pertain to a lot of things. And I just, I wanted to squeeze that back in there because it got cut out. Okay. I guess Spirit's like, okay, we're keeping these videos short. Like, oh, stop talking. Have a great May, Cancer. And again, all you ladies have a wonderful Mother's Day, whether you have children or not. Blessings.